In a world where consumerism and materialism are heavily ingrained into our culture, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that ownership of cultural and entertainment resources is necessary for a fulfilling life. However, this belief is a fallacy and often it is more enjoyable to have access to such resources in our cities and public spaces rather than owning them ourselves. This approach, known as minimalist living, involves resisting the temptation to recreate the outside world within our homes and instead enjoying activities when we feel like it without having to own and maintain all the stuff. For instance, art collecting is a popular hobby that many people engage in, yet it requires significant investment, both in terms of money and time. Maintaining and preserving a collection can be a full-time job, and the space required to store the artwork can be overwhelming. Additionally, the value of the collection is often tied to the market, which can be unpredictable, causing anxiety and uncertainty for the owner. Similarly, home design and backyard landscaping are examples of the pressure to recreate the outside world within our homes. Homeowners often invest time, money, and energy into creating a space that reflects their personal style and preferences. However, this can quickly become a burden as maintenance and upkeep become a constant task. The pressure to keep up with trends and maintain the appearance of the home can be overwhelming, leading to stress and burnout. By resisting the temptation to recreate the outside world within our homes, we can enjoy activities when we feel like it without having to own and maintain all the stuff. This can involve taking advantage of public parks and gardens rather than creating botanical extravaganzas behind our homes. Enjoying amenities outside the home, such as swimming pools or tennis courts, rather than owning and maintaining them, can also be a great way to reduce stress and increase enjoyment. One of the key benefits of this approach is that it allows us to focus on experiences rather than possessions. When we don't own everything, we're more likely to seek out experiences that bring us joy and fulfillment. This might include attending a concert or play, visiting a museum or art exhibit, or simply taking a walk in the park. These experiences can be shared with others, which can lead to increased social connection and a greater sense of community. While having a space that reflects our personality and style is essential, it can also become a burden. With ownership comes the responsibility of maintaining and caring for the things we possess. The bigger the space, the more things we tend to accumulate, and the more maintenance is required to keep them in top condition. This often leads to a never-ending cycle of cleaning, organizing, and decluttering that can take up a considerable amount of time and energy. Public parks and gardens offer an array of activities and amenities that can enrich our lives and provide us with unique experiences. From concerts and festivals, to art exhibitions and community events, these spaces offer a range of cultural resources that we can access without the hassle of ownership and maintenance. Moreover, taking advantage of amenities outside the home can also have a positive impact on our mental and physical well-being. Spending time in nature, enjoying the fresh air and sunshine, and participating in physical activities can improve our mood, reduce stress, and enhance our overall sense of well-being. We can enjoy the beauty of nature by taking walks in our local parks or nature preserves. We can also participate in community gardening programs or volunteer at local botanical gardens to enjoy the benefits of gardening without the responsibility of ownership. In conclusion, minimalist living is a lifestyle that emphasizes the importance of living with less and simplifying our lives. It involves resisting the urge to accumulate and instead focusing on experiences and relationships that bring joy and meaning to our lives. So let's embrace minimalism and focus on what truly matters, experiences, relationships, and the simple pleasures of life. If you enjoy watching this video, consider the next one to learn more about minimalism, decluttering, and simple living.